So in this video, we are gonna do a little bit more with, uh, we're gonna start with this crossbar and we're gonna start adding some things onto it. I actually wanna add in a few neat features in here that we can do to make our work just a little bit more organized. Uh, so we end up with like a million mate features and a million different uh, a million different little instance of these, uh, these parts. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna group these things together. I'm actually gonna make them select all of these and I'm gonna make them to move to a new sub assembly. And I think this is a little bit kind of like at your, Oh, well, let me show you what a sub assembly is for, and then we can talk about like why it might be useful. So you can see now, like I don't have any mate features. There's no like kind of unpaired mate features. I now have a, a, a sub assembly within my with my main assembly. There's like a smaller kind of uh, collection of pieces, and they all have the mate features in here. So instead of having like a million different mate features, we do have these kind of little um, have them all a little more collected together. So let's go through, and I'd love to change the name. Of all right, so here's what we can do if we want to make these things, give them a little name. If we right click on this and go to properties, I didn't see anything on here directly for rename, although I thought there would be one. If we go to properties, we can go in and rename that part. Um, so we can see that this now is like back crossbar, it's all one assembly. Uh, I do want to copy this and make a new one. And then we can change this to maybe like front crossbar. I don't know if this is this level of detail. We might want to save this more for like putting all the chassis parts together uh but it can't hurt to be organized with this all right so now we have two chassis we have uh, or excuse me, we have two crossbars now we need to start inserting our 17 hole u channel so let me just show you this if you go into ftc parts robotics uh, we go to go builder if you search in here it doesn't look it looks like it's going to search through the entire seems to be indicating that we're going to search through like the parent folder but actually if you type in here like 17 hole u channel it'll look just directly inside of here uh we can see there's some Looks like these are some assemblies that are already kind of put together. I think these have screws in them. You could import those, uh, but we're not really dealing with screws. So I'm look for the one that is just a that is just a part. And we're gonna click that insert. Oops. Let's restore that one. And I'm gonna make some copies of this. All right. So I did check earlier. I had to make sure that all my U channels were clearly like where all the uh, the dual blocks were clearly placed in here. Um, would like to just double check. Also, I want to hide these. I'm going to go into my mate features. Let's hide all these fastens because I don't actually need to see the little tag on there. Good. I can see through that one, see through that one. Oh, I can see all the way to the other side. Perfect. Same thing over there. Great. So these crossbars are looking good. Um, next thing up, we need to attach one of these U channels. So let's scroll this around a little bit. Um, again, really have to, helps to have a mouse in here. Um, we can use the right mouse button to kind of angle and then we can also click the middle mouse button to move around so super helpful for this all right let's see if i can get these things mounted up uh next up we have to all right so we have to get this back bar it's, it's basically four little four mini screw holes in so let's take this one um i think i want let's see okay the way this is facing let's mate this piece i'm gonna grab that and then we want to put that over to let's make sure we get the outer the outer part of the circle and i'm zooming in super close there but it is really helpful to get that exact right spot and we mount those up see where we end up all right looking good hopefully i'm not giving any word or any upset stomach zoning scrolling in and out but it is really helpful to be able to zoom in and out on these all right next up we're going to find this one's a little bit harder um let's see we need to find exactly where this hole is it looks like it's one two three four five six seven eight eight plus a little tiny hole there. So let's go over to here. Um, we're gonna find this piece. Uh, oh boy, where are we at here? This guy, all right, so we wanna get that same hole. We're gonna select, we're gonna select fasten mate. We're gonna grab this thing right here. And then we're gonna zoom way out, zoom in, come around. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then plus one. So we're gonna mount it like right here. Let's see if we zoom in on that. I check and starting to get some things fastened together. All right, so we have a couple of these pieces together. I am going to pause it for a second. We're already four minutes in. Uh, I'm gonna get the other, other piece up just the same. Okay, so I repeated the process I did for the other one uh, here, and then we have all these pieces put together. Um, I think at this point, like I really wanna try and clear up my mate features to make sure I don't have a whole bunch of these sitting around on here. And we have front crossbar, um, I thought I've renamed this one. Let's see, which one is this? I'm gonna, I need to rename this one. To, oh, 
Oh, interesting, because I made a copy of change, maybe both their names. Well, I didn't expect that. Interesting. All right, in that case, I'm just going to call it crossbar. I don't think, it, it honestly really probably is not going to matter on here, but that is kind of interesting to note when you make a copy. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if there's a way you could, you know, I'm not an expert at this. I wonder if it's, but so I wonder if there's not a way where you could copy where they're not linked. I know that that's the case in Fusion. You can do something like that, but uh, let's go crazy. Let's let's uh, put all these into a new assembly. Let's, we don't do any more new fastens. Uh, we select all these. I'm going to make a new sub assembly and we're going to call this sub assembly um fancy frame i mean, probably i don't know i mean, I, I am a big fan of having these things organized i think it makes sense we have chassis frame there might be end up being like a full sub assembly that's chassis that's going to include the frame and then all the stuff that goes inside of it and then maybe um yeah, and then we'll probably have like kind of a sub assembly on the same level as chassis frame, maybe for the motor. We're probably gonna put like four motor assemblies. So let's work on the motor next. 